Okay, you guys, uh, this is the next morning after purchasing some wire wheels from RT Wheels and Tires. Ish was really good and service was pretty good. But when I got home, I started noticing some real bad things. I'll start off by saying he did do me well. He gave me a couple of t-shirts. Me one for him. So I've got the lead hammer. I've got the uh, tool as well. And then I got the left and right adapters and 16 stainless steel wheel studs. Um, even threw in a hat. I, he was totally good about it. But unfortunately, I have to pack all this stuff back up. Because the wheels are damaged that he gave me. And I don't know how they got damaged. And I really don't care. But they're just damaged. And I didn't notice it until I got home because it was late at night. And I was picking them up. And I just threw them in the car and off I went. And I got home and went into the shop and turned on the lights. And oh my god. So here's the wheels and as you run your hand across your finger in the bead you can feel that that's damaged there it's bent and it's like that all the way around not all the way around but another spot right there on that one wheel we'll go to the other wheel and do the same thing there's a spot right there Another one right there. Another really bad one right there. Like these wheels are damaged. See the bend? The bend right there. I don't know if it was from the pry bar on the machine, but these lips are really, really thin. These aren't what I expected out of a Luxor wheel. And so, you know, uh, I didn't think much of it, but I started doing some research online last night after noticing this and watching other people's videos and uh, their Luxor wheels came in white boxes. These ones came in brown boxes that said China and I should have clued in then, you guys. I just wanted some nice wire wheels to throw on my car. Everybody's telling me that he's the guy to go to. Well, these are cheap knockoffs junk look at how damaged they are all the way along that's all the way around the wheel it's all the way around the wheel and he charged me really good money for these like big money like i could have probably got a set of real daytons and so both these wheels are like that here's the other one and i still have two more in the house but those are totally damaged from the installation. Unless it's a manufacturing defect. And then I noticed one of them, as I was checking for bends, I was pushing on this and you could hear the chrome crackling because it's no longer bonded in that little lip area. That wheel must be in the house still. But yeah, I could hear it and uh, they're just junk. These things wouldn't last two months. And I'm going to tell you guys. I paid $2,400 for these. And another $100 to have these wheels and tire, these tires mounted to them. And so I'm pretty nervous right now. I'm packing them up to take them back to RT Wheels and Tires. And I'm hoping Ish is just going to just please return my money and take my tires off i'm already stuck with the tires because i'm probably not going to run a 14 inch tire like this so i'm willing to take that hit but i'm just scared that he might not give me my hard-earned money back and i worked really hard for it so i'm pretty upset every to everybody online saying go to this guy another thing you guys Here's things that you don't do to wire wheels. Now I was in a hurry, it was dark, he was closing. 
But those are the wheel weights he put on these. You do not put clamp on wheel weights on, on wire wheels. They immediately damage the chrome and start to rust. And you start, I don't know, you just start looking at these wheels and they're just really poor, poor quality. They're not, they're not a real Luxor wheel. And he charged me for Luxor, so. Besides all of that, they're damaged, so. I'm going to see if he's going to make it right. So, let's go see if it's Ish Francis, I think his name is, at RT Wheels and Tires in, in, uh, in South Surrey. If he's going to make this right. If he does make this right, you guys will never see this video. If he doesn't make it right, I'm making this video to show you guys the damage to the wheels just from the installation. That chrome is all gonna peel off and rust. And just they're Chinese, they're Chinese wheels. Like let's face it. They came out of China boxes. They weren't white boxes with Luxor on them. They were brown boxes that said China and the wheel size. Didn't even say nothing about Luxor. So uh needless to say, I'm a little bit upset uh in trusting this uh business with my money and my dreams. And so I'm Hoping he's going to make it right. I'll let you know. I'm going to load these up now carefully. Um, nothing's damaged. Everything's just like he gave it to me. And so that's that. Hey guys, this is one of the ones in my house. And that's bent. like. And then the same thing. All the chrome is like it's wrinkled. So it's been scratched off. And that's just gonna immediately rust, but every one of these lips has got one or two or more of these bends in it. And uh, yeah, just like even the finish is really blurry. Look at that, it's just horrible. But not only that, look what he did. You do not put hammer on weights on chrome wire wheels man you put the stick on ones the ones that stick on right in here you could have had like three or four of them right in here and now the chrome on these underneath that is destroyed and so i didn't notice it when i grabbed them uh, all this damage but i'm gonna go and take them back and see what ish ish does for me i just want my money back now because these are just cheap junk they've they've revealed themselves to me and I just I just want my money back. I'm stuck with these tires now. It cost me almost a G note. The wheels cost me 2,400 bucks plus installation or mount and balance of the tires. And like he charged me 100 bucks for that. Just not cool, man. Not cool at all. And everybody online's recommending this guy. Like, what are these lowriders actually rolling on out there? What are you guys rolling on? I'm asking, throw it down in the comments. What are you guys rolling on? Your wire wheels, where'd you get them from? Are they original, are they Chinas? Because obviously I did a little more research and these are Chinas. And I hate to say it, but I feel ripped off. I feel like I he was trying to pawn these off because I don't know any better. I'm new at this, I want to get into the lowrider game. You know what I mean? The little Euro lowrider, like what the hell? And he goes and rips me off for 2500 bucks of my hard-earned money. You know, he wanted three grand with his tires, but the tires were 88 bucks, and he was trying to get like $800 out of me. He told me 2200 for the wheels, and, and another, and then three grand with tires. And then he shows me the tires, and they're like $88 tires. Well, where's the money? So, I don't know. I'm just going to take them back, and hopefully you guys will never see this video. Okay, guys. We're already loaded up, ready to go. Try to return these things. Got the box of the goodies back there. I've got my paperwork. So uh, this was the final invoice that he gave me. Everything circled here on the left indicates he gave them to me for free, t-shirts and uh, stuff like that. Uh, where he circled there, I guess he was supposed to say it was gonna be 2,250 because of the wheel adapter. All right, so. And that was the grand total. Okay, and then we 
gave me a quote before all of it and we agreed to that price right there but I didn't want the tires and he couldn't get me any tires there would be a couple of days out so I went here after loading up my rims and stuff from him from Ish I went here to buy the tires and then they couldn't do it so I brought them back to Ish and he snuck me in there and mounted them for another hundred dollars cash so that was all the way out in Richmond I'm from Chilliwack this will be my third or fourth trip out there now so I'm more than fed up I just want my money back and I'll take the hit for the tires maybe donate them to some racer here locally I don't know but yeah I just uh, would like my money back for the cheap cheap Chinese wheels so if it's just as good as everybody says he is online and on Facebook and every other place and lay all these groups then uh, he'll make this right and just give me my money back and my tires and I'll be on my way start recording now guys we're at RT tires morning good yeah is is this here he's not yet he's not yet no it's not on uh, the wheels are damaged all four of them all around the lips are all bent and all the chrome's peeling off. Okay, do you have them with you? Yeah. Okay, do you want to just bring them in here and then one day? Yeah. That sucks. Like, I got them home, I bring them in the shop, I turn on the lights, and I'm just like, whoa. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I'm sick to my stomach right now. It's like, I feel like shit. I came all the way from Chilliwack. This is like my fourth trip out here. It's kind of an emergency, really. Like, well, it's kind of a business emergency. Like, there's a customer with a problem. I know, but he was like, you should have called beforehand. I didn't know that you were coming. No, true that. Okay, I'll just load them back up then. There's no sense leaving them here. Right? Can I uh, get his phone number so I can give him a call? Okay, I'm going to go in. He's here. Hey. Cool. Well, it did, but it was painful. You and I both know we've seen him go in there. And I walk in right after, and she says, oh, he's at, just at the bank. He'll, he'll be in shortly. She's lying to me. So hopefully he did stop at the bank and go get my money, but I think he went in and snuck out the back door. Yeah. 
can feel it already. He's dicking me around. Why? What's that? I don't know. Just I know he's in there. We both know he's in there, but she's on the phone telling everybody he's not there. So I'm gonna go get a pack of smokes and I'm gonna come back. What have we been here now? An hour and a bit. 9:30 we got here, right? It's 10:40 now, so. them home and I'm noticing even my old man he's noticing all the rims are all like bent up from the bar or whatever and then we started pushing down on one of the wheels and the chrome was like crackling like there's it's not bonded like it's bent there every one of them now yeah. imperfections there and on the all on the inside it's all like it was chewed up and damaged the chrome from the from the bar Every one of them, one of them's really bad. Like it's like the tire machine bar. Yeah, it's, it's just bars, it's like it's rolled. This one here is like rolled right over. And one of them, if you push on the chrome, like you can hear it separated, like it's crackling underneath. And so it's they're not what I expected, man. For that kind of money, you know what I mean? That's those won't last a month out there. All the way around, you can see it just like sitting here. It's ugly, man. So I don't know what the hell to do other than just, I don't know, like to replace them. Is I'm just gonna get the same thing, and man, that's not the Luxor that I signed up for, for sure. And then that's, I don't know, that bothers me too. I thought you guys did stick on weights and I dropped them off and seen all the stick on weights, so they I didn't even mention it. They rub on here. Yeah. I imagine there'd be lots of room back there, but. So. Can I just get my tires and my money back, please, sir? I can't return them now they're mounted. Yeah, they're but your machine, you. your machine damaged them. My machine them. didn't do that, bro. Well then, they came out of the box like this. Why would you sell those? I sold them to you brand new in the box. I, I didn't you even see. Away, I didn't see them. And then you brought them I back. Did, yeah, because we mounted them. Yeah, and I never saw them. The so boxes were all. Us. The that's boxes from, were all closed. I know, but that's not your from guy us. opened them, man. Yeah, but Come this on. isn't from us. This Come is on, from dude. the manufacturer. So Come you on. need a manufacturer's warranty. <sighs> You're gonna do that to me? You just sold me like the cheapest, shittiest wheels for twenty four hundred dollars. That's a you lot of money, me man. To give you like seven hundred bucks off these wheels, and I did that. No seven hundred bucks? They're not even worth seven hundred bucks, man. No, that's not true. They're horrible. This is a manufacturer's. Look defect. at the chrome. It doesn't even shine, man. Like, but you looked you, at them. You, and I didn't look at them. You sold you them did, to though. me in the box, and I took your benefit of your okay, doubt. Well, Everybody I'm says, "Come to Ish." Yeah, Come on, dude. Don't do that to me. That's why I've been selling these for over fifteen years. Then. I'll so take a couple hundred money. bucks off for restock fee. Just take the tires off and give me most of my money back, please, sir. Like, wow, this isn't well, worth. Up. This isn't worth the trouble, man. Bro, this these are just cheap. Well, you it's the way you're, you're telling me, like you're not going to help me here. I never man. said that. I told you that this is a manufacturer's defect. So they they're all manufactured. All four of them. We opened them out of the box, and this is what we got. This has nothing to do with the tire machine. We don't use a bar on these. Somebody so, should have noticed that before selling those things. When you look at it, you can't see that, bro. Like, they look perfectly fine to me, but when you run your finger across it and you start inspecting it, yeah, sure, no problem. They're horrible. There's a little damage I would just on like, the road I would here. just like my money back. This is a nightmare here. I don't want to go down this road. I'll pay you a restock fee. Just take my tires off and give me my money back. That's the fairest, easiest deal for both of us, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'll pay a restock fee. I don't care, man. Just, I don't want to go down this road. Seriously, I do not want to go down this road. 
it's not worth it for either one of us. You know it and I know it. I just want my money back and I'll be on my way, sir. Like I'm sick to my stomach, buddy. I did not do any harm to them. They're exactly the way they left here. Like, To me, they look perfectly fine, but to you, they're yours. They obviously aren't up to par for you. So that's okay with me. On your right, there is a little dent right here, but that's just from the manufacturer. There should so be a one. There should be like another one 180 out on that wheel. That wheel's horrible. I think that one's the worst of the four. But yeah, I would just. Right there. I would just like to be on my way. I don't. I don't want to go down this road. I really don't, man. That's a lot of money. I worked really hard for it. I'm about ready to cry, dude. <laughs> down the road man let's just can we just i want to be on my way we've never had a set like this before so i'm i took a look at them and the chrome is not how it usually is i'm i'm sorry it's just a major deterrent at this point i just um uh, i'm very upset and So you got two options, bro. The first option is the manufacturer will warranty their wheels and send out another set. Or the second option is we charge 25% to restock these wheels. So how much are you going to give me back? Uh, I think you paid 2500 yesterday, correct? That's correct. And then 100 for the install? That's correct. So I can't re refund the 100 for the install, but I can do 25% restocking fee on the 2500 1875. It's a little bit on the unfair side. Can you do 2K and I'll be out? No, I can't, bro. I think I've done everything I possibly could for you. Okay. Let's do it then. I'll take that deal. So, do you want these tires back? Yes, please. So, I can't just.
Three hours in now, getting dicked around. Excuse me, Ish. Yeah. I don't mean to be a bother, but I'm just wondering how much longer. Probably like 30 minutes. Then Could, we'll be ready. Okay, because I got an elderly woman in the car, and we've been here for quite some time now. I hear you, bro, but there's people ahead of you, and I'm just doing my best for you. I understand. Thank so you. I want to make sure that the machine's set up so that we can take them apart. No problem. I am right here. Fucking three and a half hours or so in with the dick around. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. They came in bags if you still got them out, out there, for sure. Okay. Oh, it's right there. I, I got it. It's all good. I know you guys are busy, so it's not a problem. I gotta wait for him to get off the phone anyways. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Oh no, we're all good, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So this is mine here, ish. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. I kind of got a deal for you. Two okay. choices. All right. One, you can give me back the rest of my money. Seems that it's a couple of weeks before Christmas. I don't say it's anybody's fault, but a little bit harsh on the restock fee when the quality control is lacking. The tire guy should be experienced enough to know. Hey, these wheels are probably going to be un unacceptable for a customer and uh, that's option number one to just return basically all my money you can keep a hundred dollars for the mounting otherwise option number two to go to the Better Business Bureau you have an A plus rating and uh, I post this online I'm gonna make a YouTube video so you giving me back my all of my money will buy that video to never be aired or shown you will never hear and i will never speak of this place again and i would say that's worth the remainder of the money it's your choice do you see the angle here that you're trying to angle me in not really no you you tried to screw me too right i didn't bro i told you that i would replace them yeah well 
Yeah. Not when they're Chinese, right? I came in here for, for Luxor, and there were brown boxes that said Chinese. Didn't say Luxor anywhere on them. I know they're made in China, but those are like second runs. Those have got to be like the shit that Luxor, California don't want. And I'll probably be calling them too. So take your pick, man. I don't, I'm not an asshole. I've been very patient. You've dicked me around here for about four fucking hours now. I've been very patient. There was an issue. It's neither one of our problems. And this isn't your business and all of this shit is not worth it. Customer satisfaction and your word, your yeah. reputation is I worth exactly more than $750. Asked. But I did exactly what you asked. I know you did. You've been and very then, cool. And then you tried to tell me that you don't want to pay tax. So well, yeah, it's a cash deal, man.